Research has found that disabled people are underrepresented or badly portrayed across all media. They are often ignored as audiences and as media professionals. Disability is rarely at the centre of any programme that is expected to have a high level of audience. The lack of accessible media is another important aspect of the issue. Scholars such as Colin Barnes assert that issues that disabled people face are due to institutional discrimination and that media's distortion of the experience of disability contributes significantly to discriminatory processes. Disability is a complex system of social constraints imposed on disabled people by a discriminatory society. Impairment is an individually based functional limitation that could be physical, sensory, intellectual or hidden. Following the social model of disability, impairment does not prevent people to attain a reasonable lifestyle. Instead, the issues are restrictive environments and disabling barriers. If a disabled person is also a member of one or more marginalised groups, their experience of discrimination will be more complex and its consequences further disempowering. Disability studies help to shed light on how media misrepresent disabled people and how they are absent from mainstream popular culture. Disabled people are rarely portrayed as integral and productive members of the community and stereotypes across media are abundant. For instance, many studies find that disabled people are portrayed as pitiable, passive, helpless and dependent and that must be cared for by non-disabled people. The use of language evokes sentimentality as well as is often disabled. Usually the attention is placed on illness and suffering through the use of a medical environment. This reinforcement of this medical approach to impairment diverts the attention away from the social factors that cause disability and that, with appropriate support, disabled people are able to achieve the same level of autonomy and independence as non-disabled people. Disabled individuals are often subject to violence by non-disabled people, but news reports also tend to sensationalise violence against them. As well, research points out that in TV shows, a disabled character is three times more likely to be killed by the end of the show. Across media, disabled people have also been depicted as evil and criminal, or are in a mysterious and sinister atmosphere. They've been a source of ridicule, they've been portrayed as sexually deviant or without a sexual life. Disabled people have often been represented as without gender, yet scholars have found particular gendered stereotypes because the image of disability may be intensified by gender. As a consequence of this, disabled women are shown as more passive and helpless, while for disabled men, there is the depiction of a corrupted masculinity generated by enforced dependence. Gender stereotypes interact with disability stereotypes to constitute a deep matrix of gender disability. Another trope of disability in both factual and fictional media is the one of the super creep, an extraordinarily talented and determined disabled person who courageously overcome their disability and succeed in extraordinary and inspiring accomplishments. In addition, media portrayals do not reflect the other axes of identity and cultural differences within the disabled community as a whole. In 1,100 popular films from 2007 to 2017, there have been only a 2.5% of all speaking characters who were disabled. More than two-thirds of them were men, while three-quarters of characters were white and only one was LGBT. Across media, characters are also usually played by non-disabled actors. The Ofcom 2018 Diversity and Equal Opportunities Monitoring Report finds that disabled people are still significantly underrepresented in the UK media workforce. This research finds that all TV audiences want to see programmes that authentically portray their lives, reflecting UK's diversity. To do so, the workforce must reflect this diversity. The proportion of UK media employees who self-define as disabled is 6% of the total workforce and this is still very low in comparison to the UK population average of 18%. Reports such as the one called Increasing and Improving Portrayal of People with Disabilities in the Media 
suggests that media production should strive to ensure that all media content is produced in accessible forms for disabled people. Furthermore, media should facilitate a change in public perceptions, promote disabled people's empowerment and demand for equal rights. Media should portray disabled people as having individual and complex personalities with a full range of emotions and activities. Disabled subjects must be able to narrate themselves too. Here is another positive example in relation to this. <laughs>